Have you ever wondered how free product factors into your food cost? I'm going to share with you how it does and how you're going to account for it. Hello, this is David Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com and I feel your pain. I've gotten in trouble for a high pork cost or food cost as we gave away product, right? What is cost of goods sold? Beginning inventory plus purchases minus ending gives me use, product that leaves the shelves, use divided by sales is food cost or poor cost. But in this case, let's talk about food cost. I'm giving away free bread. I'm giving away chips and salsa. I'm giving away mustard, ketchup, doesn't matter what it is, product that leaves my shelves that I don't get money for. Well, if food cost is beginning inventory plus purchases minus ending gives me use, the product leaves the shelves, the more I use and I don't bring in more money, the higher my food cost goes. Well, if you're wondering why your food cost is high and you're giving away free product, ta-da, there's your epiphany. Well, I don't give anything away for free. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't walk up to a table and say, hey, man, it looks like you used about 35 cents in mustard. I'm going to put that on your ticket. Wait till Yelp gets a hold of that shit, right? I mean, unbelievable. No way. No, but I don't give away product for free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create what I call a consumable factor. Well, if, in, if I know my inventory, what the calculation is, what I'm going to do is take another calculation for the same thing but using only the free products. The products I give away for free is beginning inventory, plus purchases or prep of the items I give away for free gives me total available, minus an ending inventory of those products I give away for free. That gives me use, the dollar value of all the products I gave away for free. What I do is go to that expensive cash register, run a PLU report, velocity report, item by item sales mix report, find out how many entrees only I sold during that period. Take that total number, Divide it into how much money I gave away, come up with 62 cents, 25 cents, $1.35, doesn't matter what it is. That is now a line item on the every entree recipe costing card. I'm going to charge enough to make sure whatever I give away for free, I got money for. That's a game changer. And I could take that one step further. Things like fryer oil, right? I could do beginning inventory fryer oil plus purchase fryer oil, gives me total available minus ending inventory fryer oil, tells me how much dollar value in fryer oil I used during that period. Now I can go to the register, the, P the POS system, and run how many a PLU report for how many fried items I sold. Take that into the total dollar amount I gave or used, if you will, and I come up with the fry oil factor. This is a game changer to make sure you have accurate recipe costing cards and your food cost isn't falsely high because you gave away product. Now look, if you like this tip, do me a favor, this video, click on the like symbol, help a guy out. Also subscribe now, this way you can be updated to these video tips on a weekly basis. I'd also love to know any tips or tricks you have for recipe costing cards to keep them accurate like this one. Before you go, if you hover your mouse over this video, a little white eye will appear in that corner. I got a special report for you I want to give away to you right now for free. Last but not least, if you stick around for two more seconds at the end of this video, I've got a couple videos you just might like. I'm going to list them here.